Okay. Hello. I hope that everybody is ready to start a sweater along. I have my baby, my yarn, my needles, my gauge swatch, the tape measure, and my pattern. My pattern happens to be on my phone. That way I can talk about it. Um, we are going to be doing the boxwood cardigan. And I chose to use the Studio Donegal Soft, which is a 100% merino. You want my tape measure. You want that? So I went ahead and I found my size 5 needles. And I am using my Haya Hayas right now. My signatures are off in another project at the moment. So I dug out my Haya Hayas, which I quite like. And these are the old Haya Haya Sharps. They're not quite as sharp as the new ones. Um, but they are still sharp enough for what we're going to be doing here. Yes. You happy? Of course. Yeah. So I made my little swatch. I just cast on 20 stitches and I knit a couple, two and a half, three inches. And I went ahead and washed my swatch. And you might ask why I did that. But um, it's really important that you wash your swatches, especially for sweaters. I don't tend to wash my swatches as much for socks or things where um, the gauge is less Im slightly less important. It's still important for socks, but usually you're on a tight enough gauge anyway that it doesn't matter as much. But for a sweater, it matters a ton. And I go ahead and wash all of my swatches for sweaters before I start out. And it was really important that I do that. When I had originally swatched with my needles, my swatch came out to that five stitches per inch and uh, what is it seven rows per inch yep five stitches per inch and seven rows per inch with no trouble um, on the size five needles with the studio donegal soft and i thought oh cool i bet that my gauge is going to be a little bit off and my swatch is going to grow and lo and behold when i washed my swatch and that yarn relaxed a little bit and the spinning oils were washed out of it it relaxed a little bit and I now have four and a half stitches per inch but my row gauge didn't change that much so I still have about seven rows um, per inch which is nice so if you are just getting started make sure that you go ahead and cast on at least 20 stitches uh, you can do more if you'd like I just like 20 it's a nice even number it's easy for me to remember and make sure that you're using the yarn and the needles that you intend to use for your project. Don't use different needles when swatching. Always swatch with the needles that you intend to use for your project because your needles will change your gauge. If you're using a wooden needle versus a metal needle or you're using a sharper tip versus um, something that's a little more dull or you're using a, um, a needle that is a little slicker versus one that has a little grab, that will change your gauge. Are you listening, Ina? It's going to change your gauge. you got to pay attention. So make sure that you go ahead and cast on and make your little swatch. And when you measure it, you do want to make sure that you lay your swatch flat. Don't lay it on your lap. You need to use a semi-hard surface. And you need to make sure that um, you have pulled those edges out. And you can go ahead and measure all the way across if you want. So I am at 4.25 inches on my 20 stitches. Or you can actually lay your measuring tape in and you can count your stitches and I can clearly see one, two, three, four, and a half stitch. So what's happened is my little ticker mark falls in that valley in between the right and left sides of a stitch, which means I am definitely at four and a half um, stitches to the inch but that actually works out okay for me because I wanted to make um, the 36 inch chest which is um, what I called the medium um, and I wanted it to have a little bit more ease so I wanted it to be a little bit bigger so what's going to happen is when I make my 36 inch um, sized sweater with my yarn that's just a little bit off on my stitches per inch, it is going to yield more of a 38 inch sized sweater. So it won't exactly be 38, I think it ends up being like 37.25 or 37.5 inch chest or something like that. And I did originally design this with an inch of ease so that you had just a little bit of room. 
Um, but I just wanted, I wanted you to know that it is possible to use a different yarn and this is how you go about it. You go ahead on your swatch, you wash your swatch, and then you check your stitches per inch against what you're supposed to have. I could have gone down to a size four needle, but I think that that would be a little more uncomfortable to knit on. I like my fabric on my size fives and I don't want a tighter fabric. I like the fabric that I'm getting here, so I do wanna go ahead and use those fives. If you are struggling to get gauge, and it's really important to you to get gauge, and you have too many stitches per inch, then you can go up a needle size. If you have too few stitches per inch, you go down a needle size because you need to tighten your work. So I am going to take my swatch and the knowledge that I've gained and I am going to take my yarn and my needles and go ahead and cast on for this sweater. That's right, Ina. Did you find a clothespin? <gasps> Thank you so much. Do you want that back? Oh, thank you. It's so nice of you to give mommy the clothes pin. I know. Thank you. We're talking about swatches and gauge. Oh, no, you're dropping it. Let her go get it. Can you go get that? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So when you go ahead and um, begin your cardigan, make sure that you have done that swatch. You've checked your stitches per inch. Um, row gauge is slightly less important because um, most sweaters will tell you to uh, knit to so many inches or if you need to do so many increases or decreases you can adjust that a little bit as you need. Um, when I cast on for this I am going to probably use a long tail cast on. I would not recommend using um, the over the thumb cast on method. Um, you can do a knitted on cast on, you could do the long tail cast on, you could even do a twisted German or old Norwegian cast on if you want. Um, but we will be going back in later and we will be um, picking up those stitches to make the um, collar and the button bands. And so when you cast on, you want a tidy enough cast on that you can see where to pick up your stitches. And you don't want one that's um, really loose and messy because you want to make sure that you have a tidy edge when you are doing that collar. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cast on my 46 stitches for that smallest size with my yarn. And I will um, get started and do a few rows before we come back next time. Do you want to pet the yarn? Is that what's wrong? You want to pet that yarn here? And I think Ina is going to attempt to help me. Um, oh, you just want the tape measure again. Here, you can go play with the tape measure. So um, remember to check out that Black Sheep Fiber Emporium uh, Facebook page. If you are looking to buy your yarn you, or the pattern, you can go to blacksheepfiberemporium.com. Remember, we do have that sale. It's 10% off of all of our worsted yarn, including that soft Donegal, through September 20th of 2019. Oh, you're after my needles now. Yes, thank you. Here, you can play with the tape measure. And... Um, Remember, if you buy a sweater's worth of yarn, I am going to send you a copy of this pattern for free. That way um, you can make the boxwood cardigan and have fun with us. Yes, are we going to teach Ina to knit? Maybe. Maybe not. You're a little, little young yet. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can catch all of the latest videos on our sweater along, as well as any of the review videos that Ina helps me with. Do you help me with reviews? Yeah. Say yeah. All right, we will see you next time. And hopefully I will have a sweater started. And um, Tina, if you manage to watch the video, I'm putting this over in your court. Uh, I, think, I think maybe you should make a video and uh, join us and show us what you're working on with a sweater. So um, I'll be very curious to see what color Tina chooses because I went with Tide Pool. It's not really green like a boxwood cardigan should be, but I just love this color and I couldn't resist. Yeah, is that fun? Do you like those French knots? Those pretty French knots. I know we'll teach you how to stitch everything.
Oh, yes, we will. Oh, yes, we will. All right, say bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.